what we did here in the Dutch pavilion by Gerrit Rietveld, a, a building of the 50s, uh, is to, like we always do in our work, uh, study the building itself, what the building in itself, what its char char characteristics are, and of course the environment and the context in which this building and our work would take place. So the Biennale, but also the city of Venice and the climate uh, here in Venice and uh, of course the building itself. Uh, what we did was to open the building up and to strip it so that you can experience the building of Gerrit Rietveld in its most naked manner. Uh, the windows are open, uh, the building, the interior is in touch with the exterior. You see the sky, you see the trees, the sun penetrates and makes incredible shadows and light patches in the interior, a sort of paintings. Uh, we added um, mirrors that actually counteract the, the movement of the sun, because the sun moves from east to west, but if you mirror it, the patches on the wall will move from west to east. So you're actually adding another form of time. Uh, then uh, we took away, to do this, we took away a lot of unnecessary elements in the interior. We took away all the lamelle that filtered the light, that broke all this direct light. And by doing that we also made visible again the whole volume of the interior, the actual height of the interior. Then we added a track, a very mechanical system with motors and wheels and chain link system. And we hung a piece of cloth, which is called a curtain. Uh, and that curtain is actually a wall, a soft wall, which is partly transparent and partly opaque, partly reflective and partly colorful. That wall moves through the Rietveld space in a way that it creates different rooms and difference and therefore invites different manners of possible use of this empty or vacant building. The important uh, uh, point to make uh, for the uh, Venice Biennale this year in 2012 is to um, uh, make a next step for architecture. You know, we, the, the whole uh, uh, global community of architects and, and architectural uh, uh, policy makers are here in Venice, uh, of course, every two years. So it's an opportunity to uh, send a strong message. And we wanted to make a next step uh, after the previous installments and to show the performative power of architecture. Uh, Reset is uh, not just about something, it is something. It's not just representing some, something outside, it is in itself the message to be conveyed. And uh, as you will uh, find out while experiencing the installation that was designed by Petra Blesse of Inside Outside, you will see that it's, it's, it is about proving the point, not just raising the issue. I think that is the next step that we want to achieve this year, to, to prove the point about the power of design, the power of imagination, that an existing building can be reused and can be reanimated and can be given new life, and not just one life, but many lives. Uh, so uh, you will find out that the um, design that has been uh, made is uh, doing exactly that, is uh, giving new lives to this building and capitalizing on the strongest points of Gerrit Rietveld as it was uh, conceived uh, uh, 54 years ago, but um, enhancing, augmenting, amplifying uh, uh, that, that, that power already and um, synchronizing what happened, what was in the mind of Rietveld 50 years ago with imagination of today. Reset is an installation that uh, addresses a few subjects. Uh, it addresses a vacant building, uh, the fact that uh, with our way of working, we can uh, reinvigorate an empty space or an empty building by, uh, by uh, creating uh, various spaces. Uh, and we address the common ground idea because of course, yes, we do share uh, not only mentally but also physically one continuous world in which there are many problems about space and about food and about uh, 
being uh, life quality if we continue the way we are uh, working at the moment, which means building too many buildings that are mostly vacant. And so part of what we do here is a request from the NIE, our host, the Dutch Architecture Institute, uh, to address the, the fact that uh, so many vacant buildings in our own country are not being creatively or positively reused or used or changed in a way that they can be uh, useful again for us people who live there. And so uh, we uh, have an intervention here that symbolizes uh, how you can, in a relatively simple way and in a relatively cheap way,